Maybe I could do this, look. And then see how I look. <laughs> Joy is not a, a good thing in photography because pain or angst or darkness is always considered more. A comedy is never considered as good as drama, no? But for me, I like having a good time and I like uh, living. Fashion is a lot of elements mixed, you know? It's the person, the emotion, the hair, the makeup, the clothes. Does the dress look the best it can? Is the moment exciting enough? Do I want to be there? So many questions that I ask myself for that image to really make it. I always say that photographers are like cowboys. We have to bring our camera out as a cowboy has to draw a gun, because if not, he's shot. For us, it's the same. I mean, we're not shot, but we lose the shot. I divide my work in two sides. One is I photograph what already exists with a little point-and-shoot camera. When I see something that attracts me or that shocks me, I photograph it. But then there is photographing things that we create. You know, we have an idea, we decide we're gonna interpret this idea, and that is a completely different exercise for me. Maybe one fits the other. People in the street, how they've dressed, that might trigger me to do something. And then I tweak it to the way that I actually would like it. I'm constantly looking to reinterpret moments that have been magical in my life and digital photography has given me the possibility for it to be more in relation to my imagination than to my reality. But I'm curious, and my curiosity, I guess, is what doesn't seem to be satisfied at any one moment. My growing up was really far removed from being a photographer. I spent all my life at the beach. I hung out with a group of friends. We were like the, I don't know, the outcast of Lima. Back then, to be who I wanted to be, I was judged, and Rio de Janeiro gave us that exit. I was always amazed by the perfection of the bodies in Brazil, and that's a search that I have in my work constantly. I seem to take everybody's clothes off in the search of that perfection. My hardest times was when I started photographing celebrities really, actresses or musicians, because they have a point of view and they have an idea of how they want to see themselves. Sometimes I want to break that. Princess Diana, when I went to work for her, she said, you're the photographer, you do what you think is best. To me, a photograph, unless you have a soul, it just dies there, you know, on the plastic from the outside. You really can see a lot in photography. You know, I realized for many years, we used to go one more, one more, one more, one more. But you do know when you look through the camera, you know you have the shot. Having said that, that you've got it, doesn't mean anything because you could get something else too. I did the photograph of engagement of Prince William and Kate Middleton. It was amazing because I did everything I had to do to get the picture right and I did nice pictures, but at the end of the shoot, and they changed and, and I was packing and they just, stand next to me and were talking to me and all of a sudden I took my camera and that's the photograph. I spent years trying to perfect everything and really perfection is not that great at the end of the day. It's that moment that happens without the hair having been put together, the clothes were not right or, you know, but the emotion. And to me, photography, when you capture that, you have it all.